Mr Speaker, the coalition government has set out how we will meet our commitment to spend 0.7% of national income as aid from 2013 and will enshrine this commitment in law as soon as the parliamentary timetable allows. Michael McCann. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, some may be reassured by the Secretary of State's answer. Some may even be convinced by the Secretary of State's answer, but I can tell them of a group of people who are not his own loyal staff at DFID and East Kilbride, who were told in August 2010 that there would be no mass loss of jobs in his department, and then last Thursday were told that a third of the jobs are going to be cut. Isn't this the case, Mr Speaker, that when this government makes, makes commitments, that the truth and the government's commitments are strangers? Yeah. <laughs> Mr Speaker, well, the honourable gentleman will be aware that all departments across Whitehall are having to make uh, economies because of the dreadful economic inheritance which the coalition government inherited from uh, his party. Uh, but uh, uh, DFID is not immune from those cuts and uh, DFID will be seeing reductions of some 33% in its administrative spend. I had the opportunity of uh, speaking to all the staff in Abercrombie House just a few days ago to make sure that this was understood. Duncan Hames.